Apple TV and I'm here with the cast and director of Elegies for Angels, Punks and Raging Queens. Got it. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. How's the run going so far? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty well. Pretty well. Decent audience sizes for our venue, so, and for our fans as well. So it's good. Yeah. Great. So your show is not your average play or musical. Could you tell us a little bit about it for people that don't know the play? It's a song cycle, so it's not a musical in the yeah. sense of that kind of thing. Um, so it's um, songs broken up with monologues. Um, the whole piece is about people who have been affected by AIDS, whether they've died of it, known someone died of it, anything really. Um, but it's not as depressing as it sounds, it's more about a celebration of life. Mm -hmm. so, and it's more poignant this year as well because it's the 25th anniversary of World's AIDS Day as well. On the 1st of December. Um, yeah, so we want to just like, because a lot of people they think that AIDS and HIV is not uh, really an issue anymore in this country, when really it's like we just want it to, yeah, it's still an issue that we still want Yeah, so I was going to ask, do you think AIDS is still an important issue and that's quite important and the reason why you chose to do this show? Yeah, I think there's still um, a lot of discrimination, like although it's accepted that there are cures for it, people are still affected by, and there are still stero like negative stereotypes, and um, so the play kind of discusses how average Joe, it can affect average Joe, it can affect anyone you don't know, you can't label someone, because it could happen to anyone. I think through. the fact that people are still cry people are crying when they've come to watch it and stuff, it's obviously showing that people are still affected or they have they know someone they who's had it, or, and it's still, so it's always going to be like a key issue, I think. Even though it's about AIDS, it's, I mean, any kind of terminal illness has the same yeah. kind of effect. Yeah. 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 As well, so it's not necessarily about a disease, it's how people react to each other and have relationships with each other like friendships, love, anything, like colleagues. So even though the monologues are actually separate, like, there's still some moments in it where like the people playing the characters do interact with each other and have like little moments to show that everyone's kind of like a community. So it is quite a well known show. What kind of thing have you done with it to make it different? Why is your show different to other forms? <laughs> I don't think it's as well known in, in, in England, in the UK. It's really well known in America. Yeah. yeah. It's done quite a bit. We've completely changed the song um, order as well, haven't we? Like, the, the whole structure of the show kind of follows a much more. We've made it very community based, yeah. so it's very much so more about. Um, just people telling stories and everyone can tell their story rather than it being we're on a stage and you're the audience watching us. Um, so it's very sort of immersive in that sense. Yeah, we invite the audience into our community so we become one because other people may have stories we don't know so we all just, it's a time for sharing as opposed to us showing and playing. It's a time for everyone sharing emotion and stories. And Everything. That's why there's not really a confined um, play yeah. space. The whole auditorium yeah. itself is the space, so we want to completely immerse the audience in, so the, they don't feel like they're being. Yeah, they're not cut off. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not like they are just a stage. part. They're just much a part of the yeah, performance yeah, as we yeah. are telling the story. As the singers as well, we stay on stage the whole time to kind of give it more of like a relaxed yeah. feel to it as well. Like you sit on stage. Yeah, there's no sort of off stage or any of that kind of stuff. And we all have a good dance at the end. So. <laughs> <laughs> After a nice emotional bit, a nice little dance. So um, very kindly, the cast have agreed to give us a bit of a song from the show. That would be okay. Yeah, right. This right. is spend it while you can. Ready? Spend it Seven folk stack up their gold, tuck it safely in the hole. They see the future could be rough and deny themselves a lot of stuff. Other folks are laying it right. Purchase everything in sight. Snatch up treats to the last bonbon, but you can't spend it when you're gone. Spend it while you can, cause once the ship has hit the fan, or the fact is in the frying pan, you can't buy off the repel man. Better spend it while you can. 
do? Why leave a pile for Ken that you? Ken that you hate? Why let them fight for your sake? Why leave a chunk to the government man? Then why not spend it while you can? Spend it while you can. Cause once the shit has hit the fan, all the fat is in the frying pan. You can't buy a furry pound man. Better spend it while you can. Spend it while you can. Cause once the shit has hit the fan, all the fat is in the frying pan. You can't buy a furry pound man. Your treasure fills your caravan. You better spend it. Spend it, spend it, while you can, you better spend it while you can. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so, so much. Thank Beautiful you. voices. Thank you so much for showing that to us. Um, where can we see your show? Um, every day we're at C Nova Studio 3 at 11.15pm. Wicked, well you can see how beautiful it is, go check it out, I've been in Jim for TV.